Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf and my new series, Gaming on Sunday Morning. Which is where every single Sunday morning, just like today, I'm gonna be checking out a new game with you guys and we're just gonna casually review it and enjoy a nice cup of coffee. Today I'm sipping on, uh, I think it's called Chalk Full of Nuts. Chalk Full of Nuts, something like that. It's actually really good. Uh, before we move on, I wanna give a huge shout out to whoever told me to French press my coffee. I actually just did it for the first time uh, this morning at breakfast and it was amazing and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy a French press mach machine like later today because it was that good. So anyway, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on and today we're gonna be checking out some Dirt 4. Now what is Dirt 4? Dirt 4 is a rally sim cade is exactly what I would call it. Now as you can tell from the title of this video which is why Dirt 4 is perfect. It's perfect because in my opinion, it is the actual perfect combination of simulation and arcade. Now, this is gonna make a lot of people upset because it's not a simulation like Dirt Rally was or definitely not like a real simulation like iRacing or a set of Corsa or something like that. But at the same time, it's definitely not a real arcade like Need for Speed or even Forza Horizon 3. It's a perfect combination of that and for that reason I think this game is actually perfect. So let's move on. I'm, I'm guessing you guys can see a lot of different uh, gear that I'm using for today's episode. I'm just checking my audio over there. The one difference being I got the microphone right here today. I have it really close to my face so hopefully you guys only hear the audio that's coming out of my face hole and not from the steering wheel. This steering wheel can get a little bit loud, but I wanted to use it for this episode. But I know you're gonna hear these clicky sh uh, shift clicker, uh, paddle shifters, so sorry about that. And then the other difference is I got my GoPro killer right here. That way that'll give you guys some first person view of me driving this. It's gonna be bad because you guys know I never play well on camera. But, so I apologize if anything goes wrong. This is actually my second take of this video because I got four different things going here at once and something's bound to mess up. So, anyway, let's get into this. Before we start, let's go to the Steam Store page really quickly. Uh, it's already sitting at mixed reviews, uh, 487 re reviews, and the game was just released yesterday, which... I I'm pretty sure it's because people were expecting a Dirt Rally 2, which... In my opinion, that was not Codemaster's intent because, at least I'm hoping it's not, because it's definitely not Dirt Rally 2. I think if this is what they were going for as Simcade, then the game's actually absolutely perfect, like I said. But yeah, I don't think a lot of people are happy with it. Moving down to the system requirements real quick. Uh, for the processor you need, it just says AMD FX series, which, I mean, that could be anything. Intel Core i3, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a GT 440. Recommended specs are an i5-4690 or an FX-8320, 8GB of RAM, and a GTX 780 or R9-390, which is actually pretty impressive. Before moving on, I just wanted to let you guys know that yesterday's video that was, what, like 12 hours ago, I posted budget benchmarks for this uh, game. I, put, I used a lot of different budget graphics cards that way you guys can see if you can run it and you can click that video up here or it'll be down in the description if I remember and uh, so yeah that'll take care of all the benchmarking I'm not going to go into it in this review because I already did so going back to the game here this is Dirt 4 I'm absolutely in love with this game I'm actually kind of upset that uh, I'm recording this just one day after release I played it a ton yesterday so Obviously, there's no way I could have got to through all the content uh, of this game. So, I don't know if this is a first impressions or a review. It's certainly not a full review, but like I say in all my videos now, I'm pretty sure you, you guys don't come to see my reviews to see like a legit 100% review. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of casually drinking my coffee and playing some games with you guys on Sunday morning. So... Maybe I'll revisit this game is what I'm trying to say in the future because I'm not ready to give it up. I want to keep reviewing, keep reviewing it because I'm having a lot of fun. So just like I have been doing in the last previous weeks, we're going to jump straight into a race here. 
and that way you guys can see exactly what the graphics look like how the gameplay looks like you can see how bad I am at steering and I'm just realizing now that this is gonna be extremely difficult because I actually I don't have headphones or anything so I can't hear the audio of the game meaning I can't hear how my car is revving which when you're driving manual like I am I'm using the paddle shifters I don't have a sequential uh, shifter mod hooked up for my Logitech G27 yeah it's gonna be really hard to see I was just redlining there it's gonna be really hard for me to tell uh, when I'm supposed to shift so I'm gonna have to actually look at my tack there down in the bottom right which for you guys is probably gonna be my face unless I decide to move that but yeah so this is what the game looks like uh, right off the bat as far as controls the Logitech G27 hooked up just perfectly I didn't have to go through any stupid settings or anything uh, the dirt 4 game actually picked up the Logitech G27 which some games you have to like manually add uh, like your controllers and whatnot and this game just picked up perfectly I actually haven't changed one setting other than force feedback now I was just watching a really really good and talented PC game uh, reviewer and, well, he does all games, not just PC, but he said that the force feedback was too low for him. You can just turn it up in, I, I turned it up not in game, but in my Logitech profiler. I know that'll work for all Logitech wheels, but I'm not sure about like Thrustmasters and whatnot. But all I did was change it, oh, am I, t oh man, that was bad. Okay, we're gonna have to reverse out of there. Um, but yeah, all I did was turn my force feedback up from 100% to 125%. And I'm just redlining because I can't hear my car's motor at all. But uh, yeah, and, and now I think the force feedback is perfect. Uh, if you guys have ever done a rally racing game with a force feedback wheel, you'll know that your hands actually hurt. <laughs> Uh, after going through some of these courses just because of how much force feedback there is, which is a pretty cool feeling ooh, ooh. Um, But yeah, so this is what the game looks like uh, the mode that I am Driving now is just a procedurally generated random event like it's not career mode or anything and that brings me to my first point if this is procedurally generated meaning that this isn't uh, like an exact replica of a map, or not a map, like a course in real life. It's just procedurally generated. So that adds a ton of replayability in this game because you can constantly just, you can, pl now there's only five locations, like five different countries. I, can, I think this is Sweden. Um, so there's only like five settings as of right now. I'm sure DLC will come out and there'll be a bunch more. But Every, every time you drive here, it's going to be different uh, because you, you can regenerate the procedurally generated track, which is pretty cool in my opinion. I'm actually a big fan of that. So what makes this game a simcade uh, compared to a simulation like Dirt Rally? Well, the first thing is you can see now I'm not driving good by any means. Don't get me wrong, but like I haven't been driving that terribly, especially for not hearing my motor. So my ships are way off. But I'm still doing pretty good, and I don't play video games well uh, while I'm talking to you guys in these videos. I can't multitask like that, and of course here, that, that, there we go, okay. That makes sense for the video. But what I'm trying to say is, in Dirt Rally, I would have, I mean, my car would have been completely totaled by an, okay, did I just get stuck? Wow, I did get stuck. That's the first time that's ever happened. Um, <laughs> of course, when I'm talking about how good I'm driving. But yeah, it it definitely is a little bit more casual. Now there are two driving modes. You can pick gamer or simulation. And gamer is more intended for like brand new racers or you're using a controller and you just want to drive automatic and you basically just want to hold the gas pedal and blow through the course pretty much. Like that's all it is. Simulation does have some customization. You can Oh, wow. I really hope that you guys saw that. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Cool. Um, I forgot that I was recording that. So, the just worried about my audio right there. So, yeah, you have the simulation, which does have some customization. I'll get to it in just a minute. I just got 17th place. That's awful. Just what I expected. I have, I have been turning up 
the difficulty in the drivers that I, the AI drivers. I'm not a good driver, but I'm a little concerned about, not really. I think it's a good amount of difficulty, but I have been boosting it up. And I know there's a ton of drivers out there that are way better than me. So it might be a little bit too easy. But once again, I think this game is perfect for someone like me, but it all comes down to how good of a driver. If you're into, I would say this as a long story short, if you're into Dirt Rally and you love Dirt Rally and that's all you want to play, I wouldn't buy Dirt 4. I think Dirt 4 is someone is for somebody who has played Dirt Rally, loves the whole Dirt Rally concept of rally racing, but it might be a little difficult for you. And that this game is perfect. And this game will eventually get you to the point where you can drive in Dirt Rally for sure. Because, it, it, like I said, it's not an arcade. So I want to go through the menus here and not make this video in extremely long. Uh, the first type of thing that you can do here is career mode. Now, career mode is super in-depth, which I don't believe is in Dirt Rally, actually. I could be wrong. But in career mode, you're you have to do a lot of management. Not only can you tune your vehicles and buy upgrades and stuff, but you have to upgrade your facilities. You have to hire your team, which comes down to like a chief mechanic, a bunch of mechanics, your PR uh, person, uh, your spotter and stuff like that. And you sign contracts with them. You negotiate the ranks, which a uh, funny story. Uh, I was trying to hire a mechanic and he was from the United States, which is where I'm from, and he wouldn't take less than 3% of my winnings. I tried to get it down to 2% and I tried to get it down to 1%. He wasn't having any of that. I went to Mexico and I hired a guy and he instantly accepted the 1%. So, I don't know, United States kind of think they're entitled sometimes i don't want to make this video com uh controversial or anything but i thought that was pretty funny that the u.s guy was like no no i'm too good i can't and eh. yeah so anyway i thought that was pretty simulation of anything that, that's pretty realistic i would say not for everybody obviously please don't be offended but yeah so career mode is super in-depth you you keep unlocking different licenses so you upgrade through the faster cars and then the different cars like the buggies and all the the actual road racing i believe i haven't gotten too far on it but yeah i love the customization i personally when i play these games don't spend too much time really at all tuning my vehicles i'm not a big fan of that i'm not a big fan of that in real life i just want to race and i only know the basics of tuning like very basics so that's not something I do, but I love that this game gives me something tuning, but not really tuning my car, I'm tuning my team, where I have to worry about my brand deals, I have to worry about which facility I wanna upgrade. For example, I just upgraded my research and development facility, which is like real life stuff. And the research and development uh, allows me to upgrade my parts uh, that I can upgrade to my vehicles even more and stuff like that. Like, it's crazy in depth, but it's not difficult. It's just everything's based off a of letter grade, like A, B, C, D. So it's not that big of a deal. It's super easy, but there's a lot to do. Now, here in competitive mode, there's two things. Right now, there's Pro Tour and Community Events. Pro Tour is actually you race uh, this specific course, I believe, against other people uh, in real time, which is a uh, pretty... Pretty cool actually and then your community events if we go over here is they're constantly uploaded there's like a daily one a weekly one a few couple days stuff like that and it provides you a vehicle you don't have to use your own vehicle that you bought it provides you with a vehicle and then you run the same course with the same difficulty that everybody else is running which is really cool and then at the end of the day you can see there in the bottom left the event prize money so you get prizes based off of which tier you landed in based off of your times and this is constantly up updating and stuff like that and i'm excited to see where they take this if they add community created maps or uh, the dlc gets involved and stuff like that it adds a ton of replayability which i'm definitely a huge fan of because racing games I'm a huge fan of racing games. I love Forza Horizon 3. I love Forza 6. I love the. I, I like Dirt Rally, even though I didn't buy it. I just played it uh, for free a couple times through the thing oh, on Steam. I like the crew. I, I'm not really big into the real Sims, like a set of course and whatnot. But anyway, I love racing games. But 
they all become repetitive after a while and i'm not a big fan of that so i personally need community events and stuff like that to keep me going i just can't keep playing the same career mode over and over again although with dirt 4 with all the stuff that i previously mentioned i might be able to so in multiplayer i think you can create sessions up to eight people in total i could be wrong i don't really do that too often free play is what i was just in when you guys saw me actually driving you can choose between these four different disciplines i was in rally before but the cool thing is what i was saying how it's procedurally generated you can add the event and then you pick from the five different countries that you go to we'll go to michigan united states and then you add a stage and then this is the procedurally generated part you just you just choose how long you want the race to be we'll just make it super long and how complex you make it and then you hit the x button to generate it and boom you can just keep hitting that i don't want to race there wow that one looks insane uh and just keep boom that's it you customize the weather and then you jump into it and you're good to go i love it i think it's so cool I'm going to have a bunch of weekly download episodes, which you guys know is my weekly tech and PC gaming news series, where I'm just going to generate some random stuff through here and I'll instantly have content to give to you guys. So I'm a huge fan. So right now, uh, before I let you guys go, uh, there's 50 car, 50 ish cars available right now in the five different countries. Hopefully DLC comes out quick because 50 cars for a lot of people is not enough. It'll, it'll take me forever to get through it. Um, but yeah, I know that's not a lot to some people. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I hope the title made sense. The Dirt 4 is absolutely perfect for somebody like me. But if you're into Dirt Rally and you love Dirt Rally and you're looking just for something more, I don't think I would buy it. I really don't. Uh, I think Dirt Rally, if you can play that well, with the more simulation now dirt rally don't get me wrong isn't a full simulation i'm not saying that but it's definitely more intense and if you can master that then i don't think that you'll want to play dirt 4. uh i just don't think you'll like it the, i don't even think the graphics are as good but for someone like me who doesn't want to spend all that time redoing the same map or the same track over and over and over again on dirt rally just so i can cross the finish line without busting up my car just because it's so difficult then i think dirt 4 is absolutely perfect and that's it that's my thoughts i might actually go back to this game in the future i know it's already been eight minutes but i want to keep reviewing this game i'm having so much fun with it i hope you guys enjoyed the wheel cam make sure you give me a thumbs up for that um i hope you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like down below to help support my channel and as always thank you for watching and please subscribe for more zach's tech turf videos